Fallout 4 has been rated M for Mature by the ESRB. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, this is AJ22, coming today with some more Fallout 4, the epilogue chapter. There you are, Nick. I was wondering where you were. Um, yeah, I actually went between episodes and walked around town a little bit. Wanted to see if I could modify any weapons, particularly the alien gun. And I, I, I couldn't really... But I, um... I bought this, and now I only have like 1,600 caps, but it's a, it, it's, it's a fat man that shoots two missiles for every one mini nuke that I, that I fire, so I, I, I kind of couldn't, couldn't not buy it. I just, um, well, I'm almost broke now, but, uh. I mean, just look at that. Just look at it. It's amazing. It's it's, it's beautiful. Let's like, look, look look at it. It's gorgeous. Look, look at it. I um. I I couldn't I couldn't not buy it. Anyway. What I I I don't care. Go away. Where did Nick go now? Uh, whatever. Um. Yeah, I like big explosions, and I cannot lie. Okay, so I'm supposed to go in there, but that's locked and illegal. That's Earl Sterling's house. Um, I also can go in this way, I guess? Nick, what are you doing? You don't even eat, dude. Huh? Here are you. Did you see the explosion? That blimp the Brotherhood had. The whole sky was on fire. Yeah, I saw it from, uh... From a from the distance, I definitely didn't have anything to do with that. Wait, where the heck did he go now? Jeez. Hey, I've been meaning to come in this. Oh, there he is. Did you drink stuff? I didn't think you drank stuff. Maybe he's drinking like I don't know, like motor oil or something. Um, I've been meaning to come into this place anyway. For a while now, I did not mean to get my gun out. I didn't even hit any buttons that would have gotten my gun out. That's weird. Usually when I do that, it's just because I uh, bump my mouse when I'm, you know, doing things. But I, don't, I didn't even touch anything that time. That could be an issue if my uh, trigger button starts acting up. You are all better than these folks. Want to ask around, see what people know. Okay, I get it. So. I could have gotten into Earl's house without like a key or whatever broken in, but I can talk to these guys too and maybe they'll give me a um maybe they'll give me a key. you want to talk something really I forgot you was there yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Interesting. Here you. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Um, I'm not technically a mercenary, but I'm not technically neither either, because I am sometimes a mercenary. You first. What's your name? Hawthorne, and you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Interesting. I actually have, I actually found, what is wrong with my lips? That's weird. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, every once in a while, they'll let me what, what, I, what have I installed recently? I installed the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. So you explore old I mean, they don't look bad or anything. They just look lighter than I remember. I mean, I'm just remembering wrong. Never made it though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Yeah, I've been there. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. Now they kind of look like there's no textures on them. That's weird. It's the institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Huh. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. Try I'm trying to think now. What have I installed lately? There's a new patch update just recently. Like I said, I I uh, uh, blah, 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 installed the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. 
See you around, Hawthorne. Later. All right, let's let's check this for a second. Yep, that's a little too close. Yeah, it just looks like the texture is not applied to them correctly. I'll have to play around with that a little bit later. Um, right, whatever, it's fine. Jesus, bar, I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to watch. I like this guy, he's pretty funny. Um, let's see what he's got first. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, the textures on her face are just weird. Uh, I might have to. Man, I thought this is where you get this stuff. Um, I'm I'm gonna have. Ooh, yes, I'll take that. Gotta remember though, I don't have infinite money right now. Um, I'm gonna have to go play around with mods in a minute and see if I can figure out why she looks like that. That's gonna bug me. Hmm. This stuff's really good for. Man, it's not even really good for strength. It's oh, the max HP is really good, I guess. And I'll just buy all of it, and then you know drink all of it. Do I have anything I can sell you? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I have anything he'll buy real quick. Yeah, he bought some of my ammo, but that looks like that's all he's actually gonna buy. But um, yeah, okay. Hey, Vadim. Drink <sighs> the finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Um. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl, gone just like that. Such a good bartender, good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Yeah, ah, okay. I That's why I figured it would happen. happen. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. Um, actually, I kind of just bought all the drinks you had that were any good, so... All right, Don't now. anything today. You sure? Oh well. I like this guy though. He's cool. I hope we get to do more stuff with him. It might just be the lighting in here. There might be something up with that. But I am gonna go ahead and pause the recording really fast and go see if there's anything I downloaded recently. I, I hmm, I still a Wasteland Workshop recently too. Hmm. Good to see I, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go <laughs> see if I can figure out what the problem is. And I went and checked my downloads and stuff and. Uh, checked for anything like that bug online and couldn't find anything. I haven't been back in the game yet, so let's see if it's still persisting. Oh no, we look fine now. Well, do we? I don't know, it looks better than it did a second ago. No, it's only from certain angles and only when like the light hits a certain way. That's that's weird. I have no idea what it is. Um, none of the mods I installed do, do anything to face textures. Does it still look like that here? Yeah. It just looks like it's not reflecting right. Like, it's not shading right. It's... That's weird. What's, um... Like, is, it, is anyone else's face doing this? It doesn't look like it. Nick, is your face going weird? Come here. I mean, I downloaded a thing that... It's supposedly, it was going to be a surprise, supposedly it gives you, yeah, my lip texture is still weird. Supposedly it gives you, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll live with it for now. Could be, it could be the most recent patch, too. Uh, they, there could be a bug in the most recent patch. Um, official patch, it could, heck, it could be the unofficial patch, too. I have no freaking idea. Let's go out, like, in the, the light and see. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's always done that and I just never noticed. But it, it, it's definitely weirded me out. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Um, yeah, I've, I've already talked to them. Um, I actually w I want to go see if Piper's still... Jeez, is he still there? I want to go see if Piper's still up at the... Dude. Let me throw him. Just move. The twice. He was with the there we go. This whole time. You'll see if Piper's still up at um, the mayor's office or she's, if she wants to go with us yet. And I can show you what my surprise is. That's what I was talking about. I was talking about my surprise. Nick, Nick, you're going to fall, bud. Okay, good. 
you know, provided that it works. It might be that mod, though. It doesn't, it doesn't affect the player character. I didn't think it did, anyway, but it's possible. It, I mean, it is the last thing I installed. <laughs> He's fixing his hand. That is clever. Alright, move. Hey. Hey, Geneva. Oh, my God. He almost killed me. Yeah. So, like, have we not moved past this yet? Piper, I got a lot to clean up here, Blue. Hit me up again later. All right, so it hasn't been long enough. I didn't, I didn't expect that it had been. It's, it'll probably be a few in-game days before. Um, hey, I didn't fall off that time. Uh, before she'll move past this stage of the quest. You could, you could probably make it. Well, just, just jump. I mean, you're, you're floating anyway. You can clearly float. Today is a weird day. Uh, anyway, we gotta go investigate this guy's house. There's been uh, another disappearance. It's this guy who works for the Bob Bob Bobrov brothers who make that moonshine that gives me fifty extra uh, an extra fifty to my max HP that I never use because I'm always like, oh, I want to save that for when it's really important. But I've actually got a decent stockpile of it. And now I know where they make it, and I could you know buy more whenever I want. Is this still okay? So it's not illegal to enter here anymore. And his name is Earl. Start in here. Why don't you check out the is it still doing it in here? Yeah, it's still doing it in here. Might ha might just have to suck it up and download you know, a new face texture. Talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and nine. Yeah, I know. I killed the institute. Earl Sterling, I'm gonna take this stuff though. Assistant bartender. Why not nab the bartender himself? Um, the, Badim samples his own wares enough that some weird behavior wouldn't make anyone bat an eyelash. I mean, you're not necessarily wrong, buddy, but the Institute's dead. I, I killed them. There's literally no need to worry about the Institute anymore. I'm gonna take all his beer, too. Institute some points in the last person you'd ever suspect category. Why not snatch someone with charm? Someone who can get you what you want. Hey, did anybody like this Earl yeah, guy? A drink by closing on a busy night. So where's that leave us? He had a lot of cigarettes I'm gonna take. Wasn't much for the great outdoors, so likely not raiders or mutants. No, this all screams accident. Now, what was Earl into that might have done anything? I'm just gonna leave you to figure all this out while I just I take all of his stuff. And you're doing a good job of it already. Ramen meat, I'll take that. Oh, really? Uh, hold on, just a second. I want, I want to check for evidence up here in this bag. We gotta see this. I'll be right there. Keep your overcoat on. You seeing what I'm seeing over here? Oh, hey, papers, surgery receipt. Uh, resident surgeon, reconstructive facial surgery. Interesting. Receipt from the mega surgery center, huh? Yeah. That's that's interesting. That. Nothing in the refrigerator. Oh, you think we should go check them out? Probably. Yeah, that's 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 a top-notch idea. I think I got everything here. All right, let's go. Is it possible that I'm playing Melanie as kind of a bitch today? <laughs> I think it's possible I'm playing Melanie as kind of a bitch today. Oh well. Um, where's the where's the doctor? Isn't he like there? Okay. Um, I need to teleport back to one of my settlements at some point and mod the heck out of my alien gun. Why is there blood? There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Let's try and find a way down there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You. Hey, Doc. Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the surgeon. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I do have like what, like seven charisma. Care to explain all this blood leading to the cellar? Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. 
Go check for yourself. I'm sure you'll find there's nothing going on here besides medicine. Okay, sure. So I could have broken into there too. And uh I didn't. Alright. Now the the lips was, the lip problem is definitely a new thing. I'm, I would have noticed it by now if it weren't. And I'm gonna I'm gonna remain hung up on it because I have no idea what the problem is. No clue at all. I did find um reference to a bug that is kinda similar, but it's not it doesn't do the same thing. I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out at some point. What the hell? I think we're just about done. Our little doctor. Oh, naughty, naughty. Oh no, it's more invisible guns. Sure. Um. Yeah. You fixed things, all right. Fixed yourself for some time in a Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. Um, dude, you're trying to shoot me with an invisible gun. I'm pretty sure you're, you're, you've, you've lost it a little. <sighs> you killed a man, doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down. The invisible Come gun. Now let's not do anything rash. I, I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so much blood. So much blood all over me. <laughs> it's gotta be a side effect of the pipe... pipe pistol mod I installed. Oh, he killed himself. That's fine. Whatever. Um, What's going on here? Is, is that Doctor Crocker? Uh, yeah, it is. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take all his stuff. Not doing that much good at this point. Yeah. Doc, I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Your hair is kind of blue. Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then. He killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction? So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this... This is inhuman. I'm still not entirely sure what happened because apparently there is dialogue there when I went to draw my weapon and I skipped it by accident. So, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend like I know what the heck's you going on. Know. It's not your fault. Of course, it's not my fault. That moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better I, I, report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. I just can't get over how distracting it is that your hair is blue. Oh, this is all stealing. Ugh, fine. You know, in any other Bethesda game, if you kill a guy, you get to take his stuff. Yeah, I, I'm not blaming myself. He was he was nutters. Can I use this? Apparently I can. Alright, let's see what else I've got to do. I probably have to turn in that quest. I really want to mod the heck out of that thing. It's so freaking pretty. Alright. I have to go check out the hardware store for pain at some point too. Go back to Ellie. I've got the real robot too. Oh, and I, I think I started to say this earlier, but it didn't actually say it. I th where, which way am I supposed to be going? This way? Um, I found another vault that we need to check out at some point. It looks pretty interesting. And that was my dog shaking himself off in the background. I'm sure you heard that. Um, did I did I go too far or something? No. Here we go. Diamond City surplus, everything you need. Nice night, huh? 
Alright. Yeah, I was doing just some random exploring and I think I talked about this last video. In case I didn't, I'll just par I'll just paraphrase it real quick. I did some just general uh, exploring between the last chapter and this one, and there's there's a lot of places we really need to check out. Find out where Earl Sterling ran off to. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, you were sitting down. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl. What the hell? as long as he was uh, uh, maybe raiders or the institute but perspectives Crocker? in here are really weird where's the doc now rotting in a cell i hope crocker killed himself couldn't take the guilt goodness jeez what why that. why is it here, doing that sounds like you earned it i'll send word along let everyone down at the dugout and know what happened one of the things that the most recent official patch happens. was supposed to Thanks do was fix hours. camera Maybe it's just like the camera, um, when you're doing general gameplay, maybe it doesn't affect the cut screen out. camera, or cut scene camera. Is something wrong? Well, I... I oh, now my lips look question. okay. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Nick, you're such a nice guy. Yeah, I'm alright. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Yeah, I've actually kind of realized that. Sanctuary's not bad, though. People were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. There's no reason the to be scared of the Institute. Of I killed CPG them all. CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Um, okay. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman... Oh yeah, I remember this. City, heads down to power noodles. It was in um food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned. Went another so another the first time people prototype synth that stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. I remember reading about that. I'm not sure if I actually remembered <laughs> to ever read it in the actual Let's Play or not. But Piper talked about that in her in her newspaper article. I'm gonna what I'm I'm gonna do at at some point I'm gonna do a a little mini series of just short videos of what? did I say just something? Um, just shush I'm talking to people um, of just like every hollow tape and like readable item I found in the game in case there's ones that I forgot to actually read you know in an actual video massacre of the CPG what's that the Commonwealth provisional government years back a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition okay every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement only the Institute sent a representative of their own a synth the man killed every See, that's weapon. interesting. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. That's very interesting. Because the Institute pretended like they didn't care about affairs on the surface. They didn't want to help people on the surface. But they actively went out of the way to, form, to prevent them from forming United Government. That's that reinforces everything I thought about them pretty soundly. I'm glad I got rid of them. Shush. Why do you want to live among bigots like that? No, I couldn't really blame them, given the circumstances. But folks sure started turning the other cheek when I showed up with the mayor's daughter. Yeah, I can imagine. About Fifteen, pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. <laughs> the guy was part of a gang of Sex joke. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just 
stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Sounds Taking like a good man. He was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. I can see that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. <laughs> was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. Uh, Upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor and the so he bumped me out of the, the worst damn scene camera there. The bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do uh, it. It his, was months before I started charging anyone. His, his, never stopped being Nick his door handle's crooked. That's going to bug Nick the crap out of me. Came to see. Uh, then, the things, uh, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long I can't stop time to realize it. that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yeah. Um. Okay, so what's next on our agenda then? Let's let's see. Didn't we have another case somewhere? Got the weather vane thing. I do wanna. Apparently, there is a lot more railroad stuff, so I wanna. I do wanna do that. I've got a synth to rescue. Got some of that Beantown Brewery. Brew brewery. I've got a rogue robot to take down, one that didn't get the shutdown command from Mechanist. I've got the dead drop for the railroad. Report back to Pam for the railroad. I have to take back the uh Ah oh, crap. Deathclaw egg. I have to take the Deathclaw egg back to its mother, apparently, at some point. I thought we had another case. I, I guess I need to go talk to them again, too. Alright, well, let's do that first. And then we'll head out and decide where we want to go. What's the fastest way to get there from here? I don't even freaking know. Well, that's cool. I hadn't noticed that before. He actually has signs up. I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. Eh, kind of. I'm really bad with directions. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Good Neighbor either. It's weird, whenever I tell people that... Where's Nick? Whenever I tell people that, that I don't like Good Neighbor, they're always like, how can you not like Good Neighbor? There's so many interesting characters there. I don't want interesting characters. I want likable characters. I mean, I do want interesting characters, but I don't want to have to interact with those interesting characters if I don't also find them likable. Let's put it that way. Oh, here we go. Try it. All right. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I have noticed that the guy who runs it is a little, um, timid, let's say, to put it well, so nicely. what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio <laughs> from ever being invented. I love this guy, he's hilarious. Him. It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many what? would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Is this guy joking again? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. 
If oh, this is a joke, that's you enough. Are one sick but puppy, isn't buddy. serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. I kind of figured. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Yeah, I can get that. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Okay. I'm gonna have to uninstall the unofficial patch and see if that's what fixes this, because it's, it's just gonna keep annoying me. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? I believe Doc Crocker killed Earl. That I only ever had to deal with Doc's son. Oh, uh, I should get your order. Um, I'm actually okay, but thanks. It's gonna pass. Later then. Look, just leave uh, where did where did he go? Not not there. I, I kind of completely lost track. There he is. Okay. Um. Nick, Nick. Seriously, you don't. You're a robot. You don't eat. Come on. Why did I ever give up the dog? Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you wouldn't mind having Piper back either. Unlike my dead beat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I like your outfit. I'd be happy to help. Okay. So now there's an even Travis there's a weirder yes? texture shade Believe thing on him. Dear Lord. You know what works well for this? <laughs> Bar fight. Ever been in one? Oh, good lord. I can hold my own if that's what you mean. Quite the scrapper, this one. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis Okay, I thought he was going to like have us actually get into a real fight with somebody with Travis. What do you think? Sound good to you? You know, I haven't even gotten around to telling you that that guy that worked with you is, is dead. It looks like you guys heard about it, though. How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront... Oh, I can see ways that this could go bad. Step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? No. Uh. Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help. Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock, and everything will be ready. Okay. Fine. Can I tell you? Thank you for finding Earl's killer. Can't believe the doctor would do such a thing. Yeah. Okay. So you did hear about it. At least we have liquid to drown our sorrows. Yeah, I'm. I'm good for now. Ah, come on. I've got plenty of alcohol. All right. Um. And apparently, I went into vats. By accident. Uh, what is? What am I even doing today? What are? You, what are you doing? What's even back here? Stuff to steal, apparently. Ah, oh, it's like their bedroom. All right. Well, what time is it right now? Seven p.m. So, just go find something to. Occupy my time for 23 hours. I guess I could head out of the city. Yeah. And I wasn't. I don't. I was not talking to you. I guess I could head out of the city and call the railroad vertebrate. And um, head back to 
Christ Sanctuary and see if I can upgrade my alien blaster maybe run over to Red Rocket and show you what I did over there can I can I call the vertebrate right here let's let's find out where let me make sure I've got my vertebrate grenades selected yeah I can't remember if I yeah I do can't remember if I told you guys this or not but the railroad was able to uh, kit out their vertebrate so that it's fully operational and now they'll carry you around in their vertebrate even though the so that even though the brotherhood's gone um, I can uh, still take the vertebrate places. Is that it already? Neat. Um, which is it's cool because to be perfectly honest, uh, as as pretentious as I found the brotherhood and is you know just generally selfish and dickish as I found them, my big issue with wiping them out. Why are you going over there? No, come over here. Ah, uh, freaking whatever. Uh, the biggest issue I had with wiping them out was actually... What is that over there? Whatever, I don't care. It was actually that I was worried I'd not have a vertebrate anymore, so... This is dumb. This is... This is dumb. And whoever designed it should, should feel stupid for designing it this way. There was a giant open area. He could have just picked me up in the giant open area. Ugh, dear Lord. This thing takes off before I get to it. Like if I, if I, okay, we're already here, but you know, if if I had like, what? Thank you. If I had like gotten all the way here and then it hadn't, like it had flown away at like the last second, I would have been really upset. All right, Nick's apparently not gonna get in here. It's weird. It seems like every time this game gets patched, it's up there. Destroy the rogue robot. Or by Olivia. We might have time to do that too. While we're in the area. I hadn't realized that's where it was. Um, it seems like every time a new official patch is installed, the game gets even buggier. Though, I do want to point out again, I did install the un or I did yeah, install the unofficial patch. So it could very well be the unofficial patch that's doing this too. Um, now that Wasteland Workshop is installed and there's like official equivalents to a lot of the modded resources I've got set up all over the place in here, um, I'd like to tear down some of the stuff I've got put in place here and uh, put some of the official game stuff in instead, if that makes any sense. Like I've got the cool big vault generators, but now there's like fusion generators instead and uh, I want to put like some signs up and you know build an arena maybe still want to show you guys this cellar but it still doesn't work okay let's um what are we coming here to do mod the gun let's mod the gun I'm in combat apparently okay who am I in combat with exactly is that the vertebrate I was flying before? Because it, they, well, they're circling. It looks like they're fighting something. Maybe that's who I'm still in combat with. Apparently. All right, let's um go find out. Who are we fighting exactly? Feral ghouls at Gorski Cavern. Cap cabin. Ugh, jeez. Hold still. Um, no, apparently they're the enemy? Okay. I'm cool with killing vertebrates. Yeah, it's a brotherhood vertebrate. They must have flown close enough to Sanctuary to aggro Sanctuary at some point or something, maybe. Got legendary raiders incoming too, uh, it looks like. Good. Can't even tell where they're they are exactly. Alright. Jeez. 
Are you shooting at me now? Did we take the... No, we did not take the vertebrae down. Let's finish it real quick. Alright, get back. And a legendary enemy has mutated. Legendary raider. Apparently straight in this direction. Oh, and there's glowing bloat flies, too. Good. Um, I'm stuck in this tree. I'd like to not be stuck in this tree anymore. Nick, where are you at? Um, somebody's killing the bloat fly. I'm, I'm cool with that. Come here. Wow, you're durable. Jeez. Get her, Nick. Seriously, she's right there. Just shoot her. Um, Nick, move. She healed, apparently. That's that's good. Okay, I favorited my um, alcohol, but I can't remember what I favorited it as, so let's just go in here and take some. Nick, seriously, get out of the way. This one is very durable, though I'm using one of my weaker pistols at the moment, so that's probably part of it. Why are you punching her? Don't you have a gun? Use a, use your gun. Ah, crap. Well, that was behind me. I thought it was in front of me. Okie dokie, let's, let's heal up again. Oh, that was unexpectedly intense. What did you have? Irradiated hardened sniper rifle. Irradiated is a cool um, legendary attachment to collect with that mod I have that lets me take those off of stuff. So I guess that's something. I'm going to head back to Sanctuary now. <laughs> Now that I figured out, hopefully, what had me in combat, I still want to know why that had me in combat. That's a little weird. Yeah, I'll check back in with you guys once we get there, I guess. Oh, hey, yeah, there's stuff going on at the Red Rocket, too. Maybe that's what I was in combat with. Eh, whatever. It's not like um, the Red Rocket can't handle itself, which I will, I will show you guys in a second. What were you fighting? Jezebel, what were you fighting? Okie dokie. Well, there was a big explosion. I don't I don't see any dead stuff. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I turned this into a robot settlement. Built a whole bunch of robots. Named weird stuff. This is like the most heavily armed settlement in the game now. And, um, it, it hardly has any defense, like, actual defense rating, so stuff still attacks it all the time, which is kind of cool, because when you can actually find the dead thing that they killed, oh, hey, Nick finally caught up, uh, you can loot it, and every once in a while they'll kill legendaries, and you can just get free legendary loot, which is pretty neat. Really would like to know what they killed, though. Um... What the heck? What's going on? Why is everything so buggy? Dear Lord. Most people are good at breaking things. I, I don't care. I just I don't care. Can you fix my game? Can you put my game back together? I would really like to know why it's so bug bugged out right now. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it could be worse. <sighs> More people with invisible guns, of course. Uh, I did install a mod that lets me 
build stuff past the size limit at settlements. Yeah, because see, there's more freaking floating people. Maybe that's what's causing problems. I'm going to... I was on the fence about whether or not I was, I was going to keep that installed anyway. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, let's take a look at this thing. Um, I apparently still don't have everything I need for it, though, because I apparently need fiber optics. Okay. Superior range and sighted accuracy, better recoil, poor hip fire accuracy. Okay, so what's the accuracy right now? I don't, I don't understand why that why that would reduce the hip fire accuracy. Whatever. What what are our other options? Come on, there we go. Sharpshooter's grip. Better recoil and hip fire accuracy. Let's go with that. Every armament is a chance to do right or wrong. Oh, I can give it. Looks like it could do a lot of either. A fusion magazine to take fusion styles instead of the alien blaster car cartridge thingies. That's interesting. I'll keep that in mind for once I've run out of the alien blaster rounds. That's what they're called. Um, and you know, do that once once I've I've run out. And until then, I'll just keep it regular. Short scope. What do you do? Superior sighted accuracy. Night vision. I don't. I don't think I really need that. And I could give it a legendary modification, but I'm not going to do that. I, I would only really give a legendary modification to what's going to be like my number one um, most important gun of in the whole world ever, if that makes any sense. And while this thing is cool, I, I don't I don't think that's that's going to be it. So that looks like all really all the modifications I can give to it, which is fine. Eh. I also wanted to... Where was that? I can give something to sil the silver submachine gun. What can I do to you? Have I, have I modded you at all yet? I might have. Didn't I just pick up... Yeah, it radiated rifle. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm gonna take a radiated off of this, so I have it. I, if I, I could put a radiate on the alien blaster. That'd be kind of cool. Nah, it's okay. It's fine. And then I'm going to scrap you. Excellent. And now I'm going to go ahead. Well, I should probably go back to some place that isn't a settlement first before I uninstall that mod. And see if that fixes any of the problems I've been having. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to Diamond City in between episodes. Because that's just weird. Um, in between episodes, and then I'm going to... What the hell? I'm going to play around a little bit with... Oh my god! Go, stop it. I'm going to go back and then I'm, I'm going to play around with figuring out what exactly the issue is with my mods that is causing all these bugs. And I will hopefully have everything sorted out by the next episode. But for the meantime, I want to try this mod. Uh, yeah, what's on your mind, buddy? Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. Okay. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Aww. Uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first it was the work, 
busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean. Of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled no. by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. Uh, I knew some of that's the fact that he's programmed to like us, but still, that he, there was that he, he stuck around for that long, just because he liked us so much. That means a lot. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, mom, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as. Why would you think otherwise? Hmm? From Sean's birth until now, you've always been there. Mom, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Um, okay. Actually, he's not the second companion I want. I know who I want as my second companion. Sorry, buddy. You're 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 great, but um, there's somebody else I want more. That is just weird. Stop it. Stop doing that. Ugh. And there's more people. There's more people floating in the sky. Oh my god. Let's just get out of there. Come on, boy. It's time to go. All right. From what I understand, how this works. is I just tab out Hey Valentine Time to hit the road Um Are you interested in traveling together? Sure. Apparently it's not working. The mod I had installed is supposed to Let's head out. Well, all right. Prevent that from happening. It's all right, boy. I'll take it from here. Okay. Oh, crap. Well. Yeah, so apparently it's not working, so I'm going to have to go check that. It's called Extended Companion Framework or something along the lines of that. If any of you guys want to check it out. But supposedly it's it's it lets you take... It's supposed to let you take more than one companion at a time. The detective's life isn't an easy one. Rarely lacks for so, how do I want to do this then? Because I, I guess I'll go sort out what's wrong with that mod first. And then get dog meat to follow me. And then I'll sort out what can be done about the mod that's apparently screwing up Sanctuary. Uh, and I'll do that all before next episode. Guys, this episode has been a mess. It has been a huge mess. But I certainly hope you enjoyed watching it, because I did enjoy making it. Uh, Nick is a really interesting character. I have a feeling this whole detective thing is going to be a really interesting little epilogue, side quest, diversionary thing. And uh, I'm glad you, that this Let's Play is able to continue and that we're able to continue to hang out and do stuff together. Even after the main storyline's over, that there is so much more still to do. Uh, either way, though, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, just walk away. That's fine.